Well, good morning, church. It is so good to be with you again. Thank you for joining me in my basement this morning. And and today I wanted to start with a bit of a confession. And here goes. I hate spiders, okay? Don't make fun of me from your home, but I just, I hate them. I hate skinny ones. I hate daddy long legs. I hate furry ones. I'm not a spiders guy. Just does not compute with me. Do not like them at all. And so I have a general rule when it comes to spiders. If I'm outside and I see spiders in their natural habitat, I'm good. You know, I'm going to leave them be. But if, if a spider comes into my little kingdom, comes into my house, then we're going to have a problem. And at that point probably breaking out the Kleenex and taking care of the little guy. So that's my rule. And, and you know, I happen to, to pray right here in my basement in the mornings. And and it's, it's typically before the sun comes up. And so, you know, spiders are around. They, they tend to hang out in basements before the sun is up. And so it's not every day or maybe even every week, but certainly fairly often I encounter a spider during my prayer time and it happened this morning <laughs> and so I, I went up I got my Kleenex took care of the guy and then kept on praying but but there are sometimes when I, I'm, I'm deep in prayer and I'm, I'm really feeling it and I'm worshiping or I'm praying or I'll see a spider and I'll just think mm, now it's not a great time you know I'm, I'm just gonna leave that little guy maybe I'll take care of him later or maybe I'll take care of him tomorrow just don't really feel like dealing with the spider in the moment or maybe it's up high and I'm like I don't want to get a ladder and so I just leave leave them be but but 30 seconds will go by a minute will go by and invariably I I, I say to myself no I, I have to take care of that little guy because all I can think about in, in my head is is this if I don't take care of that spider right now that spider is gonna have little little baby spiders and they're gonna have little baby spiders and if I don't take care of this spider right now my spider problem is gonna get much worse it's gonna be much bigger and, and you know it was within the last year it was not too long ago I was I was praying one morning and I, I think I had just flushed a, a little guy down the toilet a little spider and I felt like the Lord stopped me and he, and he said, Christian, I want, I want you to approach the sin in your life the same way that you approach spiders. He, he, I still remember where I was down there. He, he said, Christian, you, you need to treat the sin in your life like the spiders in your life. Because if, if you allow sin to linger in your life, if you just allow it to hang it out, you don't address it, you don't stomp it out, you don't kill the sin in your life, you're going to find out over time that your sin problem is going to be much bigger. It's going to be a bigger problem. Uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 8 says this. It says, as no one is discharged in times of war, so wickedness will not release those who practice it. So the writer of Ecclesiastes is saying this. In the same way that during war, no one's, no one's getting discharged. No one's, no one's being sent home. You know, when we were over in, in Europe and in the 1940s, you know, fighting in World War II, there, there, wasn't many, there wasn't many people getting discharged from the army. During a time of war, that is not when you are released. And, and the writer of Ecclesiastes says, in the same way, once... Once you have become entangled in wickedness, once sin has grown in your life, it is, it is tremendously hard to be released from it, to find freedom from it, to, to find yeah, joy and, and ultimately deliverance from that sin. And so what, what are we to do, church? Well, Colossians chapter 3, verse 5 says this. It says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. You put it to death. You see sin in your life and you stomp on it. You 
deal with it right away. Because if you don't, your problem is going to grow, and it's going to grow, and it's going to grow. And so here in, in this crazy time, during this crazy pandemic, w would you examine your life with me for, for a moment? You can do that right now. You can do it after the video. Would you just take some time to thoughtfully reflect on your life? Are, are there any sins in your life right now that you're just not addressing? Is there any sin in your life that you're just kind of allowing to hang out in your life because you're saying to yourself, you know, okay, after this pandemic, then I'm going to address this sin. Or, you know, life is really hard right now, but okay, once stores begin to open up again or, or, or once things begin to normalize, okay, then I'm going to address this sin. You know, Paul says to us in Colossians, put to death, therefore. Put it to death. Do it right now. Treat that sin like you would treat a spider because you do not want this problem to grow. And, and so my prayer for you, my prayer for me, is that we would be people that, that just have extreme sensitivity to the, the sin in our lives. And that when we see it there, when we, we give an eyes to see the, the sin that just comes out of us constantly, that we would put it to death, that we would not allow it to linger, that we would not allow it to take root within our heart and become a habitual problem. So God bless you, church. Hope this word was encouraging to you. I'm going to keep killing spiders in my basement, and my prayer is that you would keep killing sin in your life. Bless you guys. Have a great day.